Hi guys, welcome to another weekend clinic. Um, this is a part of the Doctors Are In, the series that Tracy Banks and I are doing occasionally when we have the time. And we decided to revisit a very popular topic and that is using some older supplies. So you saw already in my kit assembly book uh, video, um, every weekend clinic has uh, a video where we show the kit that we're going to work with, the supplies that we assembled, and then we do two process videos. So I gathered some supplies and um, the vibe that I was kind of getting from them was um, kind of a summer uh, vibe and I also pulled out these simple story um, stickers that you will see later on that they will be kind of the star of the layout and it just so happened that between the time that I made this and um, between the time that I assembled the kit and that I made this layout um, my daughter was in this uh, cute inflatable pool on our balcony and I took some photos and they were um, you know taken they weren't uh, very good and they really benefited from a lot of uh, fun filters that I added in Photoshop and it really made the photo look kind of um, you know a bit more like a vintage photo I guess just with the colors those very um, warm yellowy tint that uh, older photos from you know the late 70s and early 80s uh, seem to have and I thought it worked uh, really well with my uh, supplies and yeah so I'm going to bring in both of my process videos I'm going to bring um, white cardstock as my background and you know this is kind of as much as I would like to only use my older products it's just it doesn't really work you know these papers they're beautiful but they're just much too much for a whole 12 by 12 background and I want them to be fun and exciting to use I don't want to force myself to use something that is not really um, you know the type of style that I enjoy making these days so I am going to use a lot of pattern paper but um, also white cardstock and if you have a lot of older supplies and you know maybe the colors are a little bit um, I don't know maybe more distressed than what you like now then just bringing white cardstock is a really easy fix and another way that I kind of made this more my style now which is more graphic and um, less busy I guess even though this layout turned out to be quite busy at the end um, is to make these really sharp um, graphic lines so I have my large piece of pattern paper that is just going off the um, off the edge there and then I cut that big triangle um, of that lovely striped paper and that already gives kind of a more um, you know contemporary graphic I guess more clean and modern style even though you'll see this kind of develop and uh, become um, more busy I guess that's the word that comes to my mind it's not gonna stay uh, so clean as it is now but you know it's a good uh, start and then I can just pile on the embellishments and have some fun with them so I have two photos I'm going to um, I just matted them on a few pieces of pattern paper and that's another great great way of using um, some pattern paper that maybe you're not too crazy about but when it's in such uh, small amounts um, it's a lot less visible you still get that detail you still get that um, you know extra layer and texture but uh, you don't really see that whole pattern that you're not too crazy about so using uh, older papers that you don't feel the need to showcase 
um, using those as layers is a really great way because just a little bit shows um, and you still get the effect and you use up your paper as well. So uh, I added some foam adhesive for uh, one of the photos I want to pop it up for a little bit more dimension and I also used one of those stickers from the sassafras uh, stickers and you can see I'm just cutting it so I can uh, use it to tuck it behind my photos and because it has that kind of like a stamp uh, edge to it like a post stamp I mean um, it really adds another type of texture. You could use a punch if you don't have a similar, um, you know, st uh, sticker like I have here. So this is a great time to bring out your punches and um, add some more pattern paper behind your photos. And I just felt like I wanted to add something between that piece of pattern paper um, and my a white background but I guess I changed my mind and I, I want to keep that triangle at the top right I, I want to keep it a part of my design so as I add things to the bottom area I try to keep in mind to also add uh, more details to that triangle so that it looks like a part of you know everything that's going on and it's kind of easier to do that as you go along instead of finishing completely uh, one area and then starting from scratch again with another area uh, in your layout. So I pulled this um, sticker sheet from Simple Stories. It's an older collection from I think 2015 or something and uh, it just worked really really well with my photos and with this whole um, guess I guess this summer theme that I had going so I'm going to create my title it's going to be hello summer and I just the colors are very happy it's definitely a lot more like yellow in tint in general than what I usually use I don't use so much orange and yellow in my um, other layouts I mostly use pinks and aquas and teals but uh, I really enjoyed it and I think it worked well with the photo and just the whole feel of this and I use up some supplies and that always makes me happy uh, especially when I find ways to make them work with my current uh, style better so now I'm just starting to have fun with the stickers I'm really not thinking too much about it and this is also something I really enjoyed with the two layouts that I created for this weekend clinic. I really went with the flow. I didn't overthink things. If something looked good somewhere, I just added it without worrying about, you know, maybe I'll find something else I want to add. I kind of just gave myself permission to, um, you know, commit to things and trust myself to uh, make it work and it did <laughs> and I did so it all worked out pretty well and I keep f doing this and you know if I think something looks good somewhere I just stick it down and I don't and I, I trust myself to um, you know make it work and kind of adjust my elements on my page um, to the ones that I decided to add so I don't think you know maybe I'll want to add something next to it or maybe I'll want to add something underneath it or something like that if it looks good I stick it down and then you know if I have to um, do some damage control then I'll just cross that bridge when I get to it but really mostly I don't get to that bridge um, somehow things work out so I think it has to do with just doing this for you know years and years and just making so many layouts that uh, I can I, I get a good feel of what's working and then I can also kind of work with it um, as I add stuff so this is you know I would just give this advice to those of you that have made a lot of layouts just let yourself go because you probably already have the skills to you know make it work 
<laughs> as Tim Gunn would say. <laughs> and for the um, the newer scrapbookers amongst you, um, you know, it's also good to learn how to do some damage control and um, kind of also work with your mistakes and kind of go with the flow and just, you know, I just find that it speeds up my process and um, and that also makes me enjoy it more because I have very, f very um, little free time and when I get um, layouts finished then, you know, I feel like I uh, used my time well. And of course, it's not a race to a finish line or something like that. You should do what makes you feel good. But I think a lot of people um, appreciate tips on how to get things done. So I really say just don't overthink it too much. And you can see I just I keep adding more stickers, more stickers, wherever it works. I keep adding them and I think at the end I don't even have like an embellishment, a, a defined embellishment cluster here. I just sprinkle them all over the place and um, yeah, because it's from the same um, collection and the same sticker sheet, it has the same texture to it. Um, it kind of just, you know, it all flows, it all works well together. Um, I, I do enjoy using uh, eclectic an eclectic selection of uh, products on each layout, but there's definitely something to be said about you know using one thing. Even though here the papers are from one company, and then this is just a sticker sheet from a different company, and I think I will be adding something more. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> as the video progresses. Um, so yeah, it just, you know, it just everything coordinates. So you really can, you know, just use a bunch of stuff and um, not go search for other things and not worry if it will um, coordinate or not. So there's definitely something to be said about using one collection. Uh, but here it's just uh, one sticker sheet. So I wanted to use that cute little um, yellow scallop border from that sassafras sticker sheet. And, you know, I just, I have all kinds of stuff going on um, around the edges of the bottom pattern paper that I felt like uh, also at the top triangle there, I needed another detail um, between my stripy pattern paper and my white cardstock. So trying to use uh, the entire sticker if I can. Uh, so it's a long one. I cut some of it to use it on that triangle piece and then I'm going to add another piece of it somewhere else in the layout. And you know try to do that. If you're cutting your stickers um, then try to use all the bits and pieces of those of that sticker uh, on your layout. And that's me going crazy with the sticker sheet. It's just, I love this sticker sheet in particular because it has such cute images and there are also a huge variety of sizes and lots of cute little uh, stickers. You can see those circles. I love those. They're fantastic. So because I went with this um, kind of a ledger or notebook paper, it's really easy to add my title. It is crooked, but I don't mind. Uh, not my title, I mean my journaling. So I'm just going to add it there. And uh, I think the one thing I'm going to add is some Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. Um, I love the Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold. It's beautiful, beautiful, and the lovely thing about it is that it really dries beautifully on pretty much every surface including slick surfaces and photos. So I just covered my uh, daughter's face in the photo but other than that I used the uh, mists, the splatters uh, also on the photos and I highly suggest that you try this because the color shine dries beautifully on photos. So here's my finished layout. Make sure you check out 
traces videos and my second process video for this weekend. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye.